In this video, we're going to show you how to open up and close up the Star Vision FX2 forward fold camper trailer. We're going to start off by taking the cargo rack to the park position on the, on the other side of the camper, and we're going to just push this spring clip here to one side, this spring safety clip, and open up the over center clamp. And there's two methods you can open the hard floor. You can either use the winch here, or you can open it up manually, either one person, one strong person, or two people, one either side. If you're going to use the winch method, you just need to take the winch cable all the way to the back of the camper and hook it on here. And once you've opened the clamps, just gently wind the hard floor over. So I'm going to show you how to open it up without using the winch. So there's two over center clamps on either side of the trailer. And once again, push the safety clip, that spring clip to the side, and then just lift up the over center clamp. So I'm now going to push the hard floor up and over. When it gets up to about top dead center, I'm just going to gently bring it down onto the top of the toolbox area here. So once the hard floor is in position, I'm just going to take this front winch and we're just going to put a little bit of tension so that it sits nice and uh, tight on that front uh, box, just providing a bit of stability for the bed area. There'll be four stabiliser legs as well on the camper that will help to provide stability when you're inside the camper itself. In the FX2, both ends of the tent have gas struts to assist the setup of the tent itself. Once we've got it to this stage, we're going to open the door and we're going to go in and push up the three sets of poles. Using the key provided, We'll just undo that door there and there. Gently lower this, this door down and, and the step. So once inside the tent, just loosen these clamps off if they're not already loosened. And we're just gonna push up these main center poles here. And then lock the clamp. Repeat on the other side. So we'll do this end of the camper. And just once again, make sure the clamps are loosened on both sides. And then it helps to push in the middle of the pole to push up. It won't go up a long way. Only a small, small distance that it does move. And then just lock them in place. And now just repeat at the front of the camper and then lock it into place. So the FX2 comes with four poles, uh, expansion poles that we're going to use to just put some tension on the inside of the tent in four places on either side, front and back. So just force that plastic end over the main centre pole. You'll hear it click into position. Undo the clamp. Take the second one down and just give it a, a firm shove. And then put some tension on that pole and then lock it into place. And then once you've done that, just go around the outside of the camper and just bring the canvas out and over the top of the camper. All right, so now we're gonna close the camper back down. And when we do close the camper back down, the tropical fly or the tropical roof stays on. There's no need to take that off. So first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna just get all that canvas back up around the, around the camper itself. Now I'm just going to go inside the camper, I'm going to take away the spreader bars. I'm just going to slide those three main poles inside the tent down. So when you do take the camper down, just bring the table back down and it'll sit on some runners, some rails here. Then put the cushions in the middle. And you can either put these spreader bars here or you can put them into the pole box. So I'm going to bring the hard floor over in this demonstration using the rear winch. So just wind out the winch and take it to the front of the camper. Once you've got enough slack with the, the winch strap, just put the hook in in that direction 
So it's going to pull it up and over. And once you've got that there, just loosen this main winch off. And you're ready to bring the hard floor over. Because we're using the rear winch, we just need to lift the floor up ever so slightly so that we're not putting undue tension on the winch itself. Before we start winding it in, we're just going to push this back part of the tent down. You will feel some resistance from the gas struts. Now we just gently wind the hard floor back over on itself. It'll get up to the top dead centre here. So when you get the hard floor to its vertical position, just let it rest there. Now if you've got another person, that's even better to help you tuck the tent in and make sure it's all going in uh, correctly. But if you haven't, just come around to the front. But uh, you'll see that there's a flap of PVC. You just need to tuck that in on both sides so that it clears the sealing surface where the rubber is going to seal on that surface. And then it'll just start to fall under its own weight. And it will get to that position. At that point, just wind in the slack. We're now going to push this part of the tent in and you'll feel some resistance from the gas struts. Just give that a push. And as you push it, just bring it down ever so slightly, take up the slack. And then it's just a matter of going around, tucking in any excess tent. And you'll have to repeat that process a couple of times. So once the tent is all tucked in on both sides, just lean across bring this clamp down just enough to hold it and then your hands are free to do a final check and then start closing the camper down. There you go, there's the hard floor put back into position with all the tent packed in nice and neatly. Now it's just a matter of taking the cargo rack and just gently pushing it back over. The gas struts are fairly strong. It's not a heavy wrap to manhandle. And then just lock it into position. 